If we take a closer look at the function flow, then you will see how useful this type of flow is in preventing you from creating the same kind of flows over and over again. If we take a look at the available blocks, you will see that we have all the available blocks plus one extra called output. Let's first create a simple flow where I will show you the power of the output. First, let's just ask for an email. An email is asked often inside of any chatbot and instead of creating countless flows, you can just ask it once, create a flow once, and then you will be able to return the user towards the flow they left off. And then after the flow is finished, you will be able to return the user exactly to the point they left off in the previous flow. So this will be a question block where we will ask for an email type question. Let's just make it really, really simple. And we're going to save the response to the email system field. From here, we're also going to enable auto opt-in email. And then we will be able to continue towards the next step. Let's say we're going to go with a confirmation. And now comes the magic of the function flow because now we are able to add another module that allows us to return the user to the previous flow. And this is done with the output module. So if we go with the output module, we will be able to give the output a different name. So once this flow has finished its course, we ask the question, we send the confirmation, we now are able to send the user back to the previous flow exactly at the point they dropped off. And this prevents creating repetitive flows where you will ask for things like an email, for a phone number, but even if you want to create an e-commerce like shop, where you will ask certain measurements like color, like size, then after you will be able to send them back to the previous flow. This saves you hours and hours upon chatbot building, and it is a really good way of structuring your chatbot.